All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see by the title, we're going to be talking about uh, Tarkov's hacking problem has gotten out of hand recently. And um, I just want to say this right now that this is not going to be like our normal type of video we do where we it's like a guide or something. This is just something that I really want to talk about that I want to get off my chest that um, I really care about this community and I care about what goes on in it and I care about um, the players and everybody's experience that they have with it. I know I really shouldn't, but I do because I think everybody should enjoy Tarkov for what it is. It's already a very annoying game and having hackers running around ruining everybody's fun and making it worse for people to, to get better and improve at the game and stuff like that. It's just... Um, it's just wrong, and I want to talk about it. I've seen a lot of people complain about hackers recently. I know you've seen a bunch of streamers complain about it recently, and everybody seems to say that, uh, oh, well, I don't see them that much, or I don't feel that way, but it, sometimes it's just, it doesn't seem like it, but there are, and there's a bunch out right now, and we're going to talk about that in this video, but before we start, guys, as always, I'll be streaming this whole wipe legitimately over on my Twitch channel. The whole wipe, no hacks. <laughs> uh grinding for kappa and uh link will be in the description i stream 8 a.m uh cst monday through friday and uh hopefully see you guys there and we can talk and chill or whatever and if you guys enjoy these types of videos i normally do informative tarkov videos if this is your first video seeing from me um i'd like to do guides and uh tips and tricks and stuff to help people improve at tarkov old and new players um if you like those type of videos, consider leaving a sub. I'd really appreciate it. And if you enjoy this video, uh, this kind of ranty video, uh, leave a like. I It's always appreciated, people leaving likes and stuff like that. And it helps us with that stupid, dreaded algorithm and help us get uh, these videos out to people who really need them and stuff. But without further ado, let's just jump right into it, guys. All right, so the video in the background you've obviously been watching since the intro um, is a video of what happened today on stream to me. I died to a player. Um, just running my scab on interchange uh it, <laughs> i don't even know where to start this is so crazy um he he killed me and i just went to his channel because normally i do that when i die to people with ttv in their name i normally try to go to their stream and try to chat with them tell them gg and stuff and just tell them good game and stuff and just have a good conversation and show that not everybody in this community is an asshole especially the people with ttv in their name and especially the streamers i like to interact with other streamers and stuff like that and just have a good a good a personal experience with them and make it make it cool or whatever just have a conversation but i went to this guy's stream and he was hacking and uh yeah and and that's that that was just mind-boggling to me and i and not just hacking though uh when he come when he finally got back to his his computer or whatever he started talking and he was pretty much smug about how he would level accounts and sell them actively and endorsing pretty much hacks through his twitch stream so he does it all the time it's not a it's not a once a once a moon thing he has <laughs> he has a bunch of people in there watching him already but while but while we were watching him we got on the topic like we didn't but somebody else was talking and he was gloating and joking about how he joins uh EFT discords like the community discord for EFT where you find people to raid with and other LFG discord servers that help you find players to help newer players or being a sherpa or whatever it may be he joins those servers invites people to his game and kills them off spawn and takes all their gear because he's hacking and uh he was uh he said he has done it before that he has to keep making discord accounts to keep doing it and that just mind boggles me so guys if you're watching this any other streamers watching this please make sure you monitor what goes on in your lfg channels because there are people out here like this that just get a kick out of killing new players and innocent players that are just trying to play the game and have fun so that this scumbag it's just ridiculous and the fact that he has almost a thousand people on his twitch channel i think at, at the time of recording this he has like 950 something followers on twitch which really isn't all that much but the fact that he's got that many people following him and knowing that he actively sells cheats and endorses cheating on his website sells accounts he sells the cheats that he uses through his Twitch channel, all his description, like all his um, his bio and stuff, is links to the links to the uh, to the cheats, um, and he gets actively fifteen viewers in there that that are on board with him hacking, not like just <laughs> it, it it's it just on board, like they're there, they love it, they eat that shit up, and they they love it, and it's disturbing that it has not been caught. It's just it it's disgusting, and. The fact that his account, his Escape from Tarkov account has not been IP banned yet is beyond me. Like, I reported him. 
it's really all I can do. I added some people on Twitter, some people that I know have uh, communications with Twit or uh, with BSG and stuff like that. I, I DM them on Twitter and stuff like that. Hopefully, we'll 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 help get this man IP banned or banned his account or something like that. Which he can always keep buying accounts, but it, it's just disgusting. And we watch for a little longer. It doesn't end there, and you're like, wow, this is freaking insane. It doesn't end there. Just to let you know how bad the hacking problem is, he went to a, he went on Lighthouse Radio. This was after I got off, and uh, we were just watching. I wasn't recording it anymore, but uh, he was. <laughs> He was on Lighthouse flying around the map and got into a gunfight with another hacker. It, it, obviously, the, the guy was a hacker. He was spin botting or whatever the hell they do. You could obviously tell they were both hacking. And that just goes to show you how bad the hacking problem is now. And just to preface it this, though, for you guys that think that these streamers are just making it up or players are just making it up, uh, I would say that, yes, some people will take this and run with it and be like anytime they die to something the little bit suspicious they call hacks on it and it makes the problem look 10 times worse than it is but the problem is bad there is a very bad hacking problem i don't want people to get that confused i just want you to understand that you can't blanket everybody cheaters because you died in the game simple as that regardless if it was fishy or not until you have hardcore evidence that they were like it takes a lot for me to call somebody a hacker and say that they were cheating but i didn't even think this guy was a cheater like I, he killed me and i went to his stream and then he was just there i could see the people in his screen all the loot that he was looking for he could loot people from under the ground he could loot boxes across the map it tells him if you can see on the screen it's really hard to see with the compression but you can see what what he's gonna loot like it says safe and it says like how much money's in it what's all in the safe everything it tells you where the players are what level they are what gun they're using it, it's insane it, it's literally insane guys so just <laughs> it's it's such a big problem right now and i just wanted to get that off my chest and and just let you guys know that there are like there are hackers out there not everybody's hacking but the, it is a very big problem right now. It's a lot more than I've seen in the past couple wipes. And it's only been a month now. You know what I mean? But guys, my thoughts on it, man, uh, the hacking situation has gone on check for about a month now. And uh, it it's pretty bad. And it just keeps getting worse. It keeps ramping up. And BSG needs to crack down a little harder with the anti-cheat and the band waves and stuff like that. I know that um, there are obviously new hacks obviously and not everything's getting picked up by battle eye and with this guy with with guys like this selling it openly on their twitch channel and actively trolling lfg groups and c community discords for uh, escape from tarkov and ruining players experience he gets like he was laughing at the fact that he wanted to troll people with that and it's just disgusting like i don't understand why people are like this i, I don't get it but I think P I think BSG needs to be a little more transparent with this issue, and I, I completely understand. Like, and, and you also need to understand this too from a from from their perspective. Like, this is a problem that will never go away. Hacking and cheating are in every single video game you play on the internet. With all, like multiplayer internet games, there's cheating in everything. This problem will never go away, but there's a way that we can knock it back and actually tone it down a little bit. But as of right now, BSG has not made any statements on it. I know they're working on it. It's not like they're not. I don't want people to think that I think that they're not doing anything. They're obviously doing things, but they need to do something more. They need to crack down harder because, like I said, there are cheats and hacks that are getting through BattleEye and getting through all the internal anti-cheats and stuff like that, uh, getting past them and just allowing people to do it. And the fact that this guy has been streaming for this long and hasn't got caught yet or hasn't been the band or whatever it is ridiculous he's breaking twitch tos and escape from tarkov's terms of service i don't know what's going on but it's getting out of hand and i hope bsg can find some uh, transparency with us and talk to us about it and say what they're gonna do about this situation but guys for those of you that are watching if you see somebody obviously cheating please report them at the desk screen as always do that stuff or if you know somebody to contact on twitter or dm through discord or something like that that has contacts with bsg or is like the bsg community manager or something like that somebody that you can contact with information with evidence too not just somebody you think's hacking with hardcore evidence please because we need to we need to start helping them crack down on this they need all the information they can get to help prevent the hacks and build 
anti-cheat software to, to prevent these kind of things, to help us not have this big of a problem anymore. It, it's really our only deterrent at this point, and uh, we need to stop. We need to band together and stop this shit. But uh, I appreciate you guys for sticking to the end of the video. Guys, I don't really normally do this, but please share this video with everybody. I want this to be... I want this to get out in the community and help everybody be aware of the problem and 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 just so we can get the awareness out and let people know that this is a this is a pretty big issue going on in, in Tarkov right now and maybe BSG will be a little more transparent with us and talk to us about it and let us know what they're gonna do to combat this to let us know that there's some there's some place in the near future where they're gonna hopefully nip this in the nip this in the butt and actually make it stop but guys. I appreciate you guys always sticking to the end hearing me rant about these kind of things. I know this is not the normal type of video we do on here, but uh, I think this is a big enough problem that I need to address for the community. And I, like I said before, I care about the community and the experience that the players have in the game, which I definitely, definitely shouldn't, but I do anyway. And I want people to have a good experience in Tarkov. That's why I make the videos I make to help people ease themselves into Tarkov and enjoy it more. But guys... Again, that's all I got for you. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, peace.